one of my favorite nights of the year. In what has been a very different year, we're trying to retain as much normalcy as we can while simultaneously adapting to the things we cannot change. First of all tonight, I'd like to thank Principal Talbot, our new athletic director, Brian Phillips, and Ms. Aikens of the athletic department for their tireless support and encouragement this year. We're super thankful to just be having a season. And they've allowed us to have a significant sense of normalcy through some extremely challenging times. We're grateful every day for all that they have done. Please give them a round of applause. Tonight would not be possible without the tireless efforts of booster parents and other parents. Katie and Tim Linscott, thank you so much for what you and your family have done. And I'm also incredibly indebted to our retired booster parent, who I just can't let go of because she's so good at it, Christine Howe. <laughs> the seniors would also like to thank Mr. Morse for announcing the game so well. So much to us and, and so much to our atmosphere here in the gym. We'd also like to thank Mr. Huska for doing the scoreboard so well and never missing a point. And of course, thank Andy for the amazing photos and videos that she constructs for us. Not only do they do their jobs exceptionally well, but this year they've certainly taken some risks to be here and for that we're super thankful. Thank you also to all of the Pembroke youth and travel teams for making many of the posters and decorations and signs that you see around the gym. And a very, very special thank you to the Red Sea. While the coronavirus has removed you from being here in body, we know you're out there and we know you are here in spirit. We absolutely look forward to having the Red Sea here next year. Additionally, the seniors would like to thank their parents and families for their constant support, whether it was driving them to practice, or traveling all over the East Coast for AAU games, or just being there to support and love them during the thrills of victory and the agonies of defeat. Thank you so much, parents and families. At this time, I would also like to thank Coach Della Barba and the Plymouth South team for allowing us to take up some of their time while we celebrate our seniors tonight. But we have not forgotten their seniors. We would like to celebrate you as well and congratulate you on your basketball careers. The Plymouth South, uh, the Plymouth South seniors, Captain Alyssa Kane, Captain Braley Quigg, Captain Kat Sullivan, Rebecca Livermento, and Tamara Livermento. Friendlies, and I went in and I looked around for them. 
and they weren't there. <laughs> they were at the 99. I took this as a communication error and nothing intentional, although sometimes I still wonder. <laughs> at that dinner, we literally and figuratively broke bread, and this incredible connection began. I'll be forever indebted to this class because without their trust, support, and lobbying of the administration after the head coaching job became available, neither Jazz nor I would be here. They literally changed the Pembroke girls basketball landscape to include me, and I'm incredibly thankful for that. Thank you. Now let's get, here, let's get to what we're here to do, which is celebrate these amazing seniors. First, Caroline Spelman. From a basketball perspective, I will forever remember Caroline's incredible footwork and her low post moves. I want to reach out to Robert Williams of the Celtics and ask him to please come to Pembroke High School and let Caroline show you how to be an effective NBA post player. Caroline will be attending UMass Amherst in the fall as a business major, and she's being greeted tonight by her mom, Charlotte, her dad, Chris, and her twin sister, Ashley. so much more than basketball. 
Haley has made me laugh every day for four years, and for that I'm eternally grateful. From purely a basketball perspective, we will never forget the three that Haley buried at the buzzer from that corner, now known as the Haley March Corner, a couple of weeks ago to beat North Quincy. Haley will study criminal justice and play basketball at Fitchburg State next year. Haley is being greeted by her mom, Heather, and her dad, Joe. Excited to watch them play. Now let's go play basketball.